Uh, also, uh, but the box, apart from a bit of dirt, that's pretty good. It's almost perfect, isn't it? Um, that's oh, that's the remaining box of Hexen, and uh, that. Uh, what is that? That's Goldeneye. Yeah, that's, that's Goldeneye. Yeah, that's that's an American copy of Goldeneye. That's an American copy of Hexen. Like I said, they've got a lot of American copies. Uh, this one come completely unscathed. Space Station Silicon Valley. Mm. Oh no, the lucky one. Uh, that's my copy of Extreme G. I've actually got that for a Christmas present uh, as a kid. So uh, that was funny how you remember memories and that, you know. You know, things to take for granted. Um, this is the rest of the pile of stuff I've got over here. There you can see Quake 2's come out alright. Uh, I think the I think the cartridge that is pretty perfect. Uh, unfortunately, it's quite hard taking the cartridge out uh, of a box when I've only got one hand. Uh, uh, come on, you bugger. There you go. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect, that one. Look, absolutely pristine. So I'm not, even though a lot of this is destroyed, I mean, um, I've got off a lot, I've gotten off a lot better than I could have. It could have been completely rotted through. Uh, not so much luck with my old, uh, this is my Quake 64, the prequel to it. Uh, let's see how this fared, I've actually not checked this one yet. Oh, well look, the label's a bit faded, but I think the cartridge itself is alright. Uh, yes, hang on, can I get a bit of a polish? I think that's alright, I think it's actually the label design itself actually, but no it's not, oh, never mind. So that's another one, I'm going to put a banjo yeah, I've already gone through this. Um, one of the few Ninten uh, Super Nintendo games that got messed up is a copy of Star Fox. Luckily, I've actually got this one in my room. I've done it, I split it up several times some time ago. Uh, copy of Warzone. Again, this is an American copy because I couldn't wait for the British one. Uh, I think about, and also found a Vectrix game up in the shed. Uh, but I found the cartridge to this in the loft, so that's all right. Uh, that's my copy of Super Mario Kart, but some bastard stole it off me a couple of years ago when I was a kid. But, um, top me. Um, but that's about it, really. Uh, oh, I also found an MVS cartridge for uh, the Neo Geo. Unfortunately, I don't own an MVS system. Got a couple of AV AES ones, but uh, yeah, there you go. But like I said, thank you ever so much for that. Uh, I do really appreciate what you've done for the league. I would help actually show you the top of my head. But yeah, like I said, thank you ever so much for everything you've done. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if anyone does have any problems, I will promise I will send the money back if you've got any issues about it. But like I said, as a thank you present, I'm going to send every, each and every one of you a DVD. And also for the people who said they're going to send me a couple of games as well. Uh, like I said, thank you ever so much. So just, I do appreciate every, what everyone said. But thank you very much. Uh, any more questions or if you want to see any more of my destruction, let me know. But uh, thank you very much and goodbye. Now to press the off button in true professionalism. One more thing. Um, like if you, uh, like I said, I mean, in the videos, a lot of my collection is uh, Nintendo. Or my lot of my collection, Nintendo 64 games, are actually American copies, and uh, sort of one of my intentions is to uh, replace the ones that have damaged that, like for like. So I would like to call out to some of my American friends out there if you could possibly uh, come, if you ever come across any of these uh, copies in these games in the wild and that. Uh, if you could possibly give me a shout, and I'll uh, reimburse you for them and uh, pay for postage, obviously. So yeah, if you ever find any, let me know. But thanks very much for that, and uh, goodbye.